Hi, Ariana. This is Jim Gillis with Win My Vote, and no worries about the delay getting back to me. It's I know it's super busy out there, but wanted to talk with you about creating a free group page and becoming a trusted source um, here on Win My Vote. So Win My Vote is a voter engagement site. It's sort of a home page for everything voting, um, and voters are completely free as well, and they sign up with just an email address or a social media account. They enter their zip code, and that zip code places them in specific voting districts. And then if there's any overlap or conflict, if your zip code has two different districts in it, uh, we have some resources and maps and stuff on the sign-up page so that the voter can get into the correct districts. Uh, but with that, we can get them a sample ballot that will go from the national races down to the state races and then into the uh, district races and county and city and uh, you know all the way down to school board races. And the idea is that as a voter, I want to see all the candidates lined up and I want to learn a little bit about them. And I also want to see which groups and organizations are uh, endorsing the candidates. Uh, and that's where you guys would come into play. So as I click on you know, my trusted sources, this is a library of groups that have gone up, created a page, and then endorsed candidates or propositions or measures. And you can see here's my long list here of groups and organizations that you know I have selected as trusted sources and then these ones you know are still open to me um, so when I go back to my ballot I can click on the candidates profile here I can see a more elaborate profile with videos and the Twitter feed um, and you know issue statements down here that the candidate has built and then here I can see the groups and organizations. So um, what I would have done is let's say the American Federation of Teachers, I either know them, I saw them in the library, so I selected them as a trusted source, or they may have reached out to me and said, you know, go to win my vote and select us as a trusted source, and you can see all of our endorsements. Uh, so with that, I can click on that and I can just see their endorsement. Hi, this is Randy Weingarten. As many of you know, your elected representatives, our AFT Executive Council, voted overwhelmingly to endorse Hillary Rodham Clinton for President of the United States of America. And then I can again go through you know, the different groups and organizations, and I can scroll down if there's a variety of groups and organizations that have uh, you know, endorsed this candidate. Uh, and then if I go with that, you know, and I can also, out of fairness, I should just show you the other ones. So you know, I can also go here, see the different... Uh, you know endorsements and uh, content and information and then let's say if I do decide to go with Hillary Clinton I can go back here click on you know, the favorite and come back to my ballot and you can see that the nameplates turn green I can also see the percentage here of how many people have favorited Hillary on this ballot so this is where you can you know reach out to your membership say sign up for win my vote select us as a trusted source and you'll see our endorsements and then you know vote accordingly uh, and then you can actually see you know how many people have signed up how many people have favorited the candidate you know etc and as i go through you know my ballot and i make you know let's say i make all my choices here you know i can then you know, continue to scroll down, see the profiles, do that. I can also go into the you know, propositions and the measures. I get a click on there. I can see a summary of the proposition. I can see a little one minute video, which is a neutral reading of the proposition. And I can also see again here, and you can tell this is kind of a demo ballot. I can see here the groups and organizations you know, that have voted yes and no. And let's say if I want to hear that, I can. It wasn't that long ago. Years of devastating cutbacks to our schools. 30,000 teachers laid off. Class sizes increased. And uh, I had checked yes on the last demo. Sorry about that. Um, so with this, you know, I would say, okay, great. I'm going to be voting yes. And I click yes. And when I go back to my ballot, it's, uh, you know, very prominent here that I'm voting yes. And it looks like there's 2% yes and 98% that are still undecided on this proposition. Um, so again, groups and organizations that are you know, supporting propositions or opposing propositions can get a real good feed for you know, their membership uh, as well as the general uh, voter here on Win My Vote and 
how things are, you know, how the argument is resonating with the voters and how it's tracking and that type of stuff. Um, but we'd love to talk with you a little bit about it. I'd be happy to set it up for you and, you know, uh, walk you through the, the setup. It's real simple. Um, I'll just show you a quick group, um, you know, and how the group page looks and how easy it is. So here is you know, Jim's group, and it's just a demo group. Uh, where again it looks very much like the candidate profile right where I have my video message and have some uh, basic and, and so what I do here is I just click on endorsement and you can see that uh, again since the last demo I had you know, already done some endorsements but I just click on the candidate profile and said do you want to do a written or a video I can put a written uh, endorsement in here I can add links and pictures and videos uh, and I can I'll, excuse me I can also do a uh, cut and paste of the YouTube share URL you know right in here um, and be able to then you know just hit publish and then it just publishes right on the candidates uh, profile page um, also here I can go down and I can do all the way down ballot stuff so if, let's say if there was a candidate running for school board in San Francisco that I wanted to endorse named Ian, I would just start typing in his name and his profile would pop up. I'd click on it, click his star, and again, you know, same process, I'd put my written uh, endorsement in here, and then I would, you know, if I had a video one, I would do a cut and paste of the uh, share URL from YouTube uh, in there. And I'll just show you what the... Um, the share URL from YouTube looks really quickly. So this is the video right here and then you just click this little share button you'll see the URL will be highlighted you do a copy and paste and I'll show you real quickly. And you just paste it right in there and then you hit save. So now as a voter, if I go back as Jim the voter, let's say if I want to do and so there's Ian here. Um, you can see here that Jim's group right is now you know, endorsing Ian, and if you click on it, and that's it. So we'd love to talk with you about it again, and and can show you how quickly you can go through and in you know if you guys have a list of endorsements, I can even go through them and and you know do the endorsements for you. Uh, just do a, again a copy and paste. Uh, thanks. Bye bye.